What is up everybody? Welcome back to Sitting Pretty. It's your girl Lolo and I know you all are ready for this episode. Finally, I have had the chance to be able to take a few minutes to sit down and talk with y'all about the results from my EMG test. If you are new to my channel, then I will fill you in on a little bit more detail so this video makes a bit more sense. At the start of my channel, I had started going through the process of potentially being re-diagnosed or to see if I was misdiagnosed or something along the lines of that because throughout my life, I have always been told by strangers and doctors on the street and nurses and stuff that come up to me and when I tell them that I was diagnosed with ALS, they always look at me like, no, that's impossible, that's, no. When I was diagnosed, that was over like 15 years ago. So the progression within medicine and testing and all of those things has obviously advanced itself since then. So that's what was really kind of like the reason why I really wanted to like start this journey again is because I know things have progressed since then and maybe at that time, based on all the information they had at that time, that's the only thing they could conclude it to. But maybe by now, there's something else or maybe it's not the case and maybe it was just that doctor or that facility who knows so i decided to go through the process probably like a couple of months ago i took the final test that was supposed to determine what is going on with my body and now i know my results Dun -dun -dun. <laughs> basically what i was told is that the results from the EMG test from a couple of months ago were pretty much the same results that I had received back when I was a teenager. So based on that, they believe that it might still be ALS. But in the same breath, they said, but if you have ALS, then that means you'd be dead right now. Yeah. So, clearly, I didn't even know how to receive that. I didn't even know how to take that. You know, they continued to kind of explain themselves to say, like, you know, for some patients with ALS, the progression is really fast. Other patients, you know, live another 40 years, you know, like Stephen Hawking and everything else. So, it's really... We just don't know. We'll just see what happens next kind of thing. Um, now, they didn't say that, but that was just me being sarcastic because I'm still kind of like confused. Honestly, at this point, I'm kind of over it. Not going to lie. I mean, after a certain period of time dealing with these doctors and doing all these tests and everything else, and they ain't really giving me no like straight answer about nothing. It's just mad annoying to me. And I don't need that kind of energy and uncertainty in my life especially with something as serious as my health for it to just be this kind of thing that rolls off people's backs like oh well you'd be dead by now like like what kind of shit is that to say to somebody i don't know i'm just kind of over it i kind of am like look you know when i transition is when i transition and can't nobody tell me no nothing different you know i could do my best to do things to prevent the progression, which, you know, maybe like eat better or something along those lines. And even when I asked that, I asked that too. I was like, well, what about nutrition? Like, is there any type of, you know, test or something that say like, if you eat healthier, you know, you can reverse the progression or you can slow the progression down or you can stop it, like what? And they basically told me like, well, it's always good to eat healthier, but they asked, recommended that you should floss because the stuff that gets stuck in your teeth, you know, can contribute to your, you know, progression of your diagnosis. That's the best y'all can tell me is that I should fucking floss. Really? And I know like that's a factual thing. Like that's why you are supposed to floss because you know, stuff in your teeth can affect your whole body. You know what I mean? But it's like, that's that's all y'all got after 
this disease being around for as long as it has and for me to have had it for as long as I have this is all you can say I would still consider myself as undiagnosed so if you see any articles or stories or whatever the case is your girl is going with undiagnosed from here on out that part because I do believe in the power of the mind and I do believe in the power of positive thinking and law of attraction and all of those things and those have honestly been the things that have kept me happy and healthy and peaceful with dealing with my health throughout all of these years that's that just keep giving me the positive vibes the love the support that you guys give me every single time it encourages me to continue on living life at the rate that I am. If you have any thoughts, you know, leave a comment below. Let's talk about this discussion of doctors and the ridiculous stuff that they say. Y'all already know I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep progressing and I'm gonna keep pushing for inclusion and I'm gonna do it in a fun, fly, sexy kind of way. Cause y'all know me. Cause your girl stays sitting pretty. Ow! You see how that rhymed? That was a freestyle. Get you a piece before I go wild. Okay, now I'm doing too much. <laughs> Until next time, it's any pretty baby. Peace.